Next, it was actually the tribe right after that. Try right after that, good. Well, I mean, we were had to cut it short anyway because, well, short is. It was longer than the typical episode. Yes. Uh, do we need oh, a man. bird? No, we need a thing. We need to go like this, and then you need to do this. Right, right, right. You need to do sense. this. Brilliant. And now we can fall through where the fan is to our death. Can you? Yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. Really? No. You don't have to our death. No, not to your death. But... Boom. 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 Bing. That thing's pretty rad on his arm there. That's the upgraded Whoa. hook hand. Hook hand. <laughs> That's level hook. two pirate captain. It's gonna be yeah. a hook. Oh, man. Link pirate deal. Pirate like a... Um, Costume swap. Legend of Zelda Black Flag? Yeah! Let's essentially. Wind, Wind Waker, Waker 2! Black Flag. Wind Waker 2, even more annoyances. Yeah! Well, just give him a cannon that actually gets hurt. It before. is amazing! Someone, someone in the audience right, here just said it was amazing, it'd be an amazing idea. I agree. It was Fiddle. Right, Fiddle? Yeah. What? Yeah! Man, you fight, you really fight like, like a berserker, don't you? I don't always fight like you're just, a berserker. You're just jump attacking like crazy man. It works, man. It's double damage. I just gotta wait. This, this fight's actually really easy. Because his shield is like a target. Oh my gosh, you get yeah. it? You get the joke? Yeah. Target shield? No, it's a targ wow. shield. Wow. Sure. It's a it's a type of shield. It's called a targ, and but it's a joke because it actually has a targ gets on his targ there's shield. There's target shields too. What? Yeah, there's target shields. You know that? Oh no! no oh what do you, no! What do you even mean? It's like a, it's like a little shield. It's like, like something like a buckler. Yeah, it's a targ shield. And maybe target shield for target. I'm pretty sure it's called a target ah, you're, shield. You know, you're just. You're, you said this guy was easy. Sure he wrecking you. Wrecking me? Yeah. He hit me like three times. Yeah, that's a lot in Zelda. He hit me. That's what I think of that. One, I think there's only like a couple guys that wreck me pretty hard. In, uh, especially bad. There's one one boss I fought in uh, Unlike Between Worlds that uh, I was not prepared for, and I, he really delivered. Oh man, there's yeah. a one shot there. Yeah. But here's the thing, and I'm always... Yeah! Yeah! Uh, oh. Here's the thing that I'm always, always, always going to blame everything on. What? I'm on a sound delay, so I have no sound cues. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. We can switch... We can switch if you want. No. I'm just saying that, like, if there's sound cues, yeah, I don't have but it. Then how will you know if they were, we're off, off, off sync? I don't. I just make sure the audio doesn't stop. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. What is this necklace made out of? Uh, teeth, probably. I mean, like, what? A bigger mm, dragon? Maybe it's like a... What do you call that that, that race in Star Trek? Um, Spock Klingon. Vulcan. No, 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 sorry. No, you're right at the first one. Klingon. Klingon's like a warrior race. Maybe it's like... That's like from the defeated... Luzlafoss or whatever. Okay. You know? That would make sense. You, you be a, a fellow lizard boss, you take their teeth. That's, how that's you know disgusting. They're... Yeah, that's how you know how you get Sir Donovan's and well, stuff. Well, at that point, how do you know it's not like a piece of their rib or something? Because it's huge for their teeth. I mean, like, that's bigger than his face. Well, I mean, there's like a, ra a special race of, like, uh, giant rainforest. Or... Just so you know, you're going to have to re equip your hook shots. Oh, yeah, look at that. Double claw shots! Yeah! Coolest item! I love them! I like the claw shots, yeah. I really like him. I wish there were more weapons like it that were had like different functions and stuff. That would be cool. Can I do anything from this angle? Absolutely not. Why? I don't remember what to do here. Probably that though. Yeah. What? So cool. And then do? you go down. You look up through here. It's up still there? inverted and it's dumb. Uh, I'll go here. I think. What what were these people doing with a claw shot? Uh, well, th city? this uh, tum uh, temple. <laughs> I was gonna say dungeon, but then we were like, no, we call the temples. 
So it came out Tumple. Tumple. Um, this temple is here for the, the, the of hero Tumple. of uh, the hero of time, right? right. So you have to is have it? some human weapons. No, but no, but this is the city, isn't it? Like it's this is part of the city, is it not? Well, I I just figured the whole city was like. It's kind of like a holy city. It's right, kind right. of like a temple city. Well, okay, there's right. definitely lots of holy Man, city. there's a holy city. Oh, um. <laughs> that is that is a astute observation. Very astute. Okay, so this is okay. So we just gotta climb to climb one all the way time up here. What? We just gotta climb one at a time. Yep. They're really keen on making you learn how to control this thing. Yeah. Oh, oh I can get it from here. You get that. You want to go there next? Yep. Go down? Then? Just want to make sure I'm not going to get hit by that guy. Um, the keys. The keys? This is what I was referring to. Ew, I understand. What? Look. Well, it closes. Right. When I get off of it, so you want to go whoop, all the way down. Okay. Down here. Oh, I'm silly. Man. I love them. Not it looks like it would also be a really good melee weapon. It does. Like smack them. No, seriously. In some games that have like. Uh, check this out. These are the ones you can actually lock onto because they fall. So now they're teaching you there's certain ones you can lock onto. Ah. Uh, I, think I'm, I think this one's fine. Just to let go. Okay. There's certain games that have like a hand 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 weapons, right? Yep. But the, the weapons themselves are like a thing with like a claw on the end of it. Yeah. But on the other end, you you hold it with a handle. Yeah. How weird is that? Like that, that can't be a very very efficient weapon. Where it's like a claw, but it comes back, and there's a handle you grab in the yeah. middle. Not in the middle, on the on the end. So there's a claw, it's like a hand, a claw, or whatever, right? Yeah. Like a moving claw, or whatever. And then uh, as it goes back up to the end, there's a handle. Yeah. Just hold on to. Yeah. I hope I remember to put a picture up of that. Um. Yeah, th those totally exist. Yeah, but how? They can't be that good we weapons though, because you, you, your hand would be slipping on the on the handle. I think it's more of a like 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 like. like, like you know what I mean? I think it was more of a like a finesse weapon, so it, it was more for like the look of intimidation, kind of oh, like oh, uh, like shot drums. Yeah. Because I gotta say, those are pretty cool looking weapons. But they're pretty like not great. They're just because yeah, because you need to be so perfect, perfect, perfect with them, or you want to kill yourself on them. Exactly. I've also so. seen some strange uh, in a museum in Peru. Yes. Cool places. Well, not only did I see an actual gun blade, a revolver <laughs> bolted the side of a. Ordinary cavalryman sword. Yes. Um, also saw this really strange thing. It was it looked like the handle was made out of a knuckle duster. Hmm. Had a small knife dagger blade sticking out the bottom of it. The bottom, yeah. And the top of it was a small snub nosed revolver. Really? Yeah. I've heard of things like that. That's a heck of a thing. Wow. I, I've heard of a uh, uh, yeah of a whole bunch of things like that where. Uh, I'm not sure what, what age that's from, but I've heard of uh, Mafia bosses from the 40s having mm. brass knuckles that were... Um, on the bottom, it, there's a switchblade that they can push a button and it pops at the bottom. And on the top, uh, they can flick the knuckles and it's a handle for a pistol, which oh, is what they're Oh, yeah, grabbing. I think I know no, what you mean No, this one, it there. looked like it was all just... All just one piece? Welded together. It wasn't like... That was strange. That's cool. I mean... That's cool for... I mean, as cool as... Weapons of death in your life are. I mean, in video games, it's like, well, I don't know, it's like whatever. Like, whatever is cool looking. It could be, hey, here's a sword. It is so jagged and pointy. It, it's, it's like the Soul Edge. Yeah. yeah. It's I so jagged and pointy that it's, it almost defeats the purpose of it just being a something you stab with. It just like put it somewhere and let someone just step on it and just like. Uh, I had a never-ending. Uh discussion with a friend of mine yes about what would be more effective in combat a pickaxe or a sword huh. a pickaxe would be pretty good as like a, a blunt weapon blunt that because be like it, well it's uh, not blunt but like it's heavy so it would do a lot of the work for you i don't think i'm supposed but, to be so here you think it's so like, like a claymore then yeah no claymore is not blunt 
no, but no, I mean, no, it's, it's so heavy that it's it does a, a lot of the, the work for you while you're swinging it down. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. It doesn't just cut, it breaks bones. Yeah, but my, my point, I think, was, uh... Uh, what do you do here? Can well, you... it's only a small chest, so I don't think I actually need to get there. Great to your left. Yeah, it's your left. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a great to get there, but I was trying to get to the treasure chest. Okay. Uh, but I don't think it really matters that much. You, can you just hookshot to it? Oh, I'd probably get to it from... To maybe I drop into it. Well, I couldn't claw shot into it. At least I didn't see in an area where I could. Because, like, you can, you can hook shot to, to chests because they're made of wood. Can you claw shot the chests, though? I don't know. You, you could... Oh, yeah. You, you can, can hook, hook shot, shot them, them in Ocarina, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway. Hmm. Also, can... Well, oh, hold on. Is that one? No, it's not. Maybe so the damage reach, you could do with a pickaxe versus that. a sword depends upon how good you are with weapons themselves. Well, my thing, though, is that, you know... Ultimately, swords were used a lot more than pickaxes ever, ever were, so to me, that would suggest that sword is better. Right. Right. I mean, that makes sense, right? Because there'd be a lot of people who were skilled at picking good weapons and stuff, right? And they would know what's... What? You know, what to pick. Whoop! Well, the thing is, a pickaxe, like, <laughs> sure, it probably do a lot of damage if you swung it on somebody, but you can't do it. exactly deflects with it. Well, yeah, the thing about a pickaxe is it's heavy, so... Yeah. Because it's, it's meant to break rock. Yeah. So if you miss, you would really follow through with that. Right, yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, but that's a bit different than, like, a sledgehammer. Same thing. Yeah, yeah but, but a sledgehammer is not a good weapon. It's not? a good weapon against zombies that don't dodge. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's not a good weapon against... Unless you're really strong and you're using a little one, it's not so a good weapon... So you're saying when it comes humans. to sledgehammers, RPG rules apply? Slow yes. up and yeah. so big swing. Super swing. And you get so tired, man, you didn't even know. You need a lot of stamina. So to, much uh, stamina. It's like almost not worth the investment of stamina. You need to invest in, in your stamina and your endurance. Like, really, you might as well get a little bit of intelligence uh, in, instead because, I mean, just having well, just basic the, knowledge of moving parts at that yeah. point. Or just so. a, little, a little bit of intelligence and you'd know just to get a dirty big two-handed sword. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a thing down here. <coughs> What's the what, what thing? What's oh, the thing? there's a door, but I can't get through is it. Is there an opening? Oh, well, there's a thing there. Yeah. Again, we're in the sky. What are you guys doing here, even? I don't know. Annoying. Who planted them upside down? That's just mean. What? Well, this is what awkward. I mean. Um... This would be scary, wouldn't it? It would be pretty scary. Especially because you Link's holding on. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's just his hand is in a handle. It's not like a... I mean, like, I mean, look, like, like let's, you know, let's assume that, you know, just for sake of argument, that the world works differently in this game. And, you know, Link doesn't have any problems physically holding on to a thing like the hook shot or the little claw shot. Um, even then, the idea of you're suspended over a, a chasm... You're holding on to it. You're holding on to a thing that uh, if you let go, you just be fall to your death. Like it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's like that guy. You know, oh, switch, switch, yep. switch, switch. Oh, I, I saw I didn't the, I see saw that. The, the little, whatever that is, the, the alcove, alcove in the wall. That's so sneaky. They can't just put it out there. It's just too easy, right? Yeah. yeah. But, um, so it's like the oh, guy, right? Oh. You know that guy who, uh, the last couple of years has been, like, doing tightrope tight walking? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's crazy that you do that. But, I mean, that's, that's just me, though. Some people, like, because he's actually, like, a six or seven generation, like, tightrope walker. So, yep. like, he like, been doing it family. since he's a kid as well, Yeah, probably. since he was two, he said. So I'm like... Well, I mean, if you're, if you're, I guess if you're good at something, um... Yeah, that's... Do you think, yeah. like, when he was angry at his parents when he was a kid, he's like, Just go to the circus! But he's not, like, going to the circus, he's going to perform in the circus? Yeah, that's right. Go to your room, yeah, I mean, young man, and he just, like, walks across the street to his friend's house. And I will! Like, the phone wires <laughs> or something. <laughs> just gets his rubber shoes on. Do those shock you? Those don't shock you, right? Rubber like, shoes? The, no, they really shock you from it. Well, if you had a foot on... Each wire. Yeah, that's what I mean. Or you need yeah, to one both. foot. 
Electrons and that's how power. That's how birds don't, birds don't get electrocuted. They, they have... Wait, they don't have rubber feet? No. No. Oh man, my whole world is shattered. I don't remember how to kill this guy. Just use... You would just give him bombs. Bombs are not the solution every time! Bombs is the solution when his head is gone. <gasps> Oh! oh! I think he got you. Yeah. Well, Link survived the cannon shot into the desert. Mm. So I'm sure that's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's clear that the rules don't, like, apply differently in this world. I mean, it's not just obvious, I think. Mean, you know? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's bomb time. Yeah, you're actually right this time. Ouch! Did you see a thing bite me? <laughs> During the so cutscene, it was just like, Gah. All right. Man, you know who's having a bad day? What? The Hylian that that flower, the piranha plant, falls into, like, their house. <laughs> having a bad day, just in through the chimney. Santa? Go, 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 go! Just eats the kid. Oh, man. Why must you be so dark? It's, dude, Santa. It's, dude, it's Hyrule. And then it eats the dude, kid? it's Hyrule. The kid can survive that. He has three hearts. <laughs> That's true. Get out of my case. Even the yeah, it's true. I think the minimum hearts a person has is three. It's three, right? yeah. So you know, makes sense. There you go. Get out right? my case. It'll make it dark humor. Th th that's the thing, though. If you were in a, you were you were in a game, right? We all assume that we we would be uh, the Han Solo. We would all be Link over here with with t with twenty hearts. No, you probably end up being the, the shopkeepers. <laughs> or, the, or, the... or if you want to be a fighter, you're random guard number one. Exactly. You just like... You're nothing special. Guard oh number no! Eight. What do I do? I can't do things. If I did things, that would make it so I, I was competent. But I can't be because I'm not the main hero. Could you imagine being, you know, stuck in a game, right? And you understanding and contemplating, understanding that you're not the main character. It'd be horrible. It mess with your head because you'd be like. What even am I here for? You know? Because I, I thought about that. I thought about, like, what if... As crazy as it is, what if, like, you were stuck in a game's world? A world of a game. And it was, and it persisted in all that stuff, you know? And it was, it was alive. Well, I'd hope it would persist. Yeah. If you're in it. Yeah. That would suck. Because there's, there's, been, there's been a few, a few stories and, and, and cartoons about, about this kind of concept, right? If you if if you anime about it, right? Where it's like, Ugh. what would you do? Ugh. You know, who would you be and stuff? And it's like, I guess that that's what kind of Bethesda tries to replicate with their games. I, wow, I dude! This. Man, you know, would be really nice. A reticle. Can I just shimmy? Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's slower, but it's safer. <laughs> well, oh, I can't. Go okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just. just That part always, always creeped me out. This part of the song. Where it's like the... Yeah. I don't even know what instrument that is. I think it's just the sound of that sound. Like, it's not really an instrument at all. Okay. It doesn't sound like any instrument I've ever heard of. Yeah, but there's like weird instruments. You know what I mean? Like, like the theremin? Like the theremin. That's you know what that cool is? Instrument. That's the one where you move your hand around it and it's like... Whoa! Yeah, it goes... Whoa! I want one. It's the... It's the, it's the oh, no. Oh, no. oh, you're There's dead. No, oh, no. You're dead, you're dead! Oh, no. to the other side. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oh, I can grip. Or right, I can lock on. Oh, I was close. It's fine. This is the time. Right here. No. Nope. Nope. No, 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 this no, no, no. Why must you play with our emotions, Octo? Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Totally. Totally did. Totally spies. Oh! Look at that! Look that at that! Rad. Oh, it didn't let me finish though. Ouch! Totally spies. That was not a good show. It was a uh, French May. What? French May. It was French. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. You know that? No. Yeah. I figured it was like Canadian. Yeah. French it's, Canadian. It's like French Canadiany. You know. Well, then it's not French. No, is it is French. It's. It was French. Okay, look. It, it was French. But it had like uh, you know how in Canada you guys don't if you guys are American you guys don't, probably don't know about this but or maybe from you do. anywhere else in the world or from anywhere else I'm sorry <laughs> in Canada um, in order to be on the television and to you know set up like a television station in Canada a certain percentage of your of your content has to be Canadian content 
So, what? Yeah, it's absolutely true. And and so the um, Canadian government actually has like a grant for people to make stuff that's a like, Canadian made. You've probably seen that that little logo at the end of uh, some TV shows. Yeah. Where it's like provided by the government of Canada. Yeah. That's because like a part of a fraction of that of that the budget goes a small fraction goes to producing content that's Canadian made. Interesting. So, a lot of French um, oh, oh. is um is, is has that sort of label on it. Yeah. You, you didn't know that? I thought you knew that. Nope. I'm not like a super TV guy. I don't know stuff like that. Well, neither am I, but it's just something I picked up in our line of work, you know? Yeah. It's weird that I'm not a super TV guy considering we work in TV. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. A, I mean, you and I are huge internet guys. Sometimes one blink actually doesn't work. He spends a lot of time just hanging around. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not even gonna side of that one. <laughs> you just did. You just did. No, I breathe I deeply. I'm gonna laugh at it. You know why? Because I find puns funny. Okay. Did you hear that last one before, before we were recording? The, yes, the, the I desserts did. one. That one was so great. Oh. You get on my case for liking dark humor. Dark humor and puns. Dark doesn't mean it's dark. dark That's what I'm saying! Dark humor is great Dark humor and puns are way different. Oh, I like dark humor too. Yeah, no, dark humor is great. No, no. Not a fan. Dark, dark, uh, no. Well, it just means so. that you just can't get away with saying any of the typical bad guy lines. Like, you know, you have to lighten up. But it's dark humor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy. Hurry up! I like this little thing right here. Uh, I didn't get it right away when I was first playing. Where it's like, where do I go? I can't go through the wall. And then you're like, alright, oh, the chain. I always forget oh. about the chain. You're just down low. Also, how is this? How is he doing this? <laughs> you ever thought about that? No, I actually haven't. How's um, he doing that? Is, I assume, there a, is there a button on the I inside know, of the handle? Well, I assume that, like, that... The part, like the part with the hook, or the, the the claw, and the part with the chain, like are can rotate. You know, like it's that connected. Well, I hope so, because that if it wasn't, that means it's Link's wrist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> hey guys, hey, just uh, working my quads. I'm assuming that's what a quad is. Pretty sure the quads in the leg. Is it? I wouldn't really know. Yeah, quads in the leg. Oh Told man, you. I made the. Biceps? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, biceps. Well, triceps. Biceps. Triceps, your forearm. No, it's Sorry, underneath. It's under uh, your, your, your... What's, what's, what is your forearm? Not the forearm, but that's... Yeah, biceps and triceps, yeah. Not your forearm, but the other part of your arm. Above your elbow. The bicep is on the other... The, yeah. the front... The upper... The part on top. <laughs> and the tricep is the part... Is the part... Is the muscle on the bottom. Yep. That's true. Everything you said was true and correct. Thanks to Fiddle for her intelligence. <laughs> Unlike the rest of us. Yeah. Well, a lot of us... We fill our minds with important things like video game trivia. Yeah. I can tell stuff. you... I can tell you... How many Pokemon are there? Pokemon, well, I can't tell you that. Well, I what? Remember, I know as much it's like 750 as, something. Okay. Yeah, see? I know there was 150 originally. 151. 151. 151. Okay, fine. You gotta count you, man. Yep. Mewtwo, though, is he is 150, but Mew is 151. Oh. He's, yeah. a, he's a secret hidden one. Yeah. That that did you, did you know? If you if you take a, take take the truck and you strengthen the truck, he'll be no, underneath. He's not underneath the truck. No. Yeah. No. He's not. Why not? Because he has to be in Lavender Town, man. Is that music? They're hiding Never, something. I you know. I was very sensitive, and I still am, uh, to, to like scary material. Ouch! So, <laughs> what even hit me there? The fan? Uh, it's the, the, the air. Maybe. It was the air. The air hurts me? Oh no! No no! What what? That was weird. I don't. Know. I have no idea. That's funny. Yeah. But um, so I'm very sensitive to like scary stuff, right? Oh yeah, it was a fan. It has to be. It was a fan. You're too close. Okay. Sure. Makes sense. Um. So. What are you doing? There's, you have, you get up there this way, don't you? The, maybe. I wasn't there Ouch, a blue thing. What is my arm or face doing? There was a blue thing, though, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, but I can't. Hmm. 
Well, let's just fall and look, not look, even look, get look, hurt. Look up. Okay, yeah, let me look. just kill this guy first. There you go. But I don't think I can shoot no, look uh, up, high look enough up. to get it, though. Look that's, up. that's what I'm saying. Blue. Yeah, it's the sky. Oh, is that what that is? Because it's a grave. I think I have to. I think I have to start up there and I come down. All right. Let's just assume that's how it has to be. Right. All right. So anyway, I'm sensitive, sensitive to, to you know scary things, right? But even that's why you want to play PT so bad. Oh yeah, right. But even then, I can't wait to that. So you're playing that by yourself. Playable teaser for Silent Hills. You're playing that by yourself. Either that or fiddle has to be there. Absolutely yeah, has to be there. She'll be there. She loves scary things. Well, me and her are She is dating you. Me and her and we scre screaming our heads off on the couch. We're gonna be like, duh, 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 while you, you, you know, mess about. <laughs> oh man. That one time when we were playing The Evil Within and it was like really quiet and I in the hallway and pitch black and I screamed and it made you guys scream. There's nothing. Yeah, it was great. Me wanted to do that too. It was really fun. <laughs> and well, Outlast, me and, that, like me that and one Fiddle. jump scare in Outlast. Oh, it's great. I love horror. I don't like it at all. And, but even then, even back when I was a kid, I was like, Louder Town, neat. I was like, Shadow Temple, I'd turn the sound down, because it's music scary. Econ Econa Valley? I couldn't go in there until the sound, unless the sound was down, because it scared me. But, Louder Town was like, okay, whatever. Really? Didn't even, didn't even phase me. It's not scary. It's well, scary in I there. never played Red. Or, or blue. I played a little bit of green, which you didn't know existed in North America. I thought it was a purely Japanese only. That was leaf, green? Leaf yeah, green. see? We only have red, blue, red, and yellow. In yeah, there. red, blue, and yellow, right. Yeah, but uh, in exactly. Japan, there was red, blue, yellow, and green. Green, green, and, and then yellow. Oh, just green and yellow? That's it? No, no, no. It was red, blue, green, and then yellow came oh, out okay. later. Uh, yeah, because yellow, you had Pikachu, Pikachu. probably following yeah. you. That's right. Leaf green... Uh, was when they made Fire Red, they made Leaf Green, Leaf which Green, yeah. was... What came out first? Pokemon Yellow oh. or the Pokemon TV series? I just the TV series I'm pretty because... sure the TV series came out before any of them, right? No, I That's thought a good the... question, actually. No, I thought because the... the de I, I thought the default name was Ash. It's not Red. The it default red. name isn't Red. No, it was. Are you sure? Yeah, I thought oh. the default... Ash was one of the options, I think. But... One of the options, yeah. It was one of the two. Because if if the if the default name was Ash, yeah, then the show came first. That's a good question, man. I feel like when I, I I kind of always assumed that Yellow came out after the Yellow came out after everything. After everything. It was like after a, the show. there was like Diamond, Pearl, and then Sapphire. Yeah, right. It's there, was, like, there was there was usually a third one that, that went with the other two. Yeah, that came later. You it, no, but I just assumed Yellow yeah. came after the series because. Yeah. Oh, it definitely it's did, yeah. pretty well you're being a guy from the series. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely did. You're being um, literally the worst trainer of all time, Ash Ketchum. He's the worst trainer, but... Who uses a Pikachu to fight electric types. You know, you know what bugs me so, so much is that... Yeah, but he gets away with it. But no, Because but, he uses a freaking hacked top no, but Pikachu. What, but what bugs me about it, right, is... Oh, just let me take the take it. I lose the remainder. Uh, I know, right? Um, no rope to get to there. The thing that bugs, me, that bugs me about that, though, is, like, the reason Ash is so stupid yeah. is because he has to be. Well, yeah, because, for, for, like... For, for the, narrative purposes. Yeah, because he has the, to be. the kids watching weren't Pokemon masters. Exactly. So, so it's like, not like, oh, what's that Pokemon? Oh, you mean Char Charmander? Like, the guy you, you've had, like, a thousand times already? You've seen it a billion times already? You, you, you mean that one? You know? Yeah. What's it, Can you do uh, an Ash Ketchum voice? I can't. Not really. I wish I could. I, I mean, my voice already kind of sounds really young and kind of teenagery. I think. Eh, I don't think so. Luke, do I sound kind of like teenagery? What? Gotta Why bleep names. Gotta keep bleeping names. Sorry. Goodness. <laughs> if that happens three more times within the next four recording sessions, we're dropping aliases. No, no, it was an accident. That's my rule. If it happens three more times within the next four sessions. Uh. Gosh! It was an accident! I'm sure it was! Okay, anyway, so... Look. Everyone says that I would sound... Yeah, that... Oh, said look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, like, right, so oh. everyone knows... Everyone says that I don't, I don't sound like that, but I think I really do. 
Yeah, but remember, you hear things differently in your own head because you're not just hearing it. No, but I hear myself sound. on the recording. Yeah, but you're not just hearing it as sound. You're hearing the sound reverberating through your skull, too. Yeah, but it, Which changes what it in, sounds like. In, uh, if you're listening to it over the recording, it's going to sound a little different because you're further away. And it's know, going I, through a mic. I think I sound I sound like really young. So yeah, I might. Oh gosh, <laughs> what is that? It's like a, I don't know. It's, it's a good stone one. Yeah, it's. A I can't version. hook shot it, can I? Nope. <laughs> All right, this is cool, guys. This is fun. All right. I'm just go. gonna go ahead and. Uh, what are you doing? Iron boots. See you suckers later. <laughs> I can't get to them now. No. Nope. Oh yes, they can. <laughs> I'm mistaken. I am mistaken. What? Just, I heard him by rolling. Don't really know how that happened. Did not, did not. Oh man, a sweet. You got a chest of her. Bosky? Yeah, definitely. I wonder what's in it. It's a giant black. With the evil red. Yeah, with eye. the evil yes. red eyes. Oh, giant black. It's where Sauron. Oh! It's, it's where Sauron put one of his rings of power. Oh man, wouldn't it have been, have been rad? Dang it! Wouldn't, I just it wanna... wouldn't it have been great to actually have seen the rings of power do you know two different things? Because you only ever really see one of them, right? It's like the one ring to rule them all. Uh, That's yeah, all you, ever you, know, you know of the nine that are the ring rays. Yeah? Yeah, the ring rays are all... They're all ring rays because of their nine rings. Yeah, they're the nine humans. Yeah. Oh. And then the you know of the Ooh. elven... Oh, uh, no, please go down. Go down! <laughs> Ugh. You know of the elvish ones, just because uh, Gandalf has one. Found to oh. help. It was, it was supposed to... Was it one of I... parts that was supposed to help inspire... Inspire others. Yeah, I, I thought... can we can we take a second really quick? Yes. To just appreciate this final puzzle. Okay. Uh, I did it wrong already. Okay, good. good. It's a good start. <laughs> do you you know what puzzle I'm talking about? I think so. Hey man, I don't know what to do. I just spent fast an hour... forward forty minutes. I just spent an hour and a half to try to figure out where I, I what oh, I missed. Oh, I gotta look up and do that. Oh. I don't remember no. where to do that from. I really don't remember where to do that from. There. But no, you can't shoot off of there. No? Oh my gosh. Do I have to do it from up there? And I fell down here like an idiot? Oh man! Fast forward. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All so, the way back. Okay, let's go. Hit there we this. go. There we go. Goodness. Goodness me. And you you might use what would this. happen if he forgot to release the first claw shot by accident sometime. Oh. Oh, ouch! <laughs> Ooh. Would that, like, rip your arm off? Like, Well, in this world, would it, though? I'm not sure. I was told I needed chiropractic, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> so what that did was, uh... What did it do? It started the fans on the outside. On the so outside. you can now... Like, I'll show you. So you can now claw shot onto one, and then it turns, and you grab the other one. Okay, so like this? So like... This. Oh, they turn now. This. These, these. Yeah. I see. Perfect. That's just, sorry, just... If you're in third person view, it kind of looks... Yeah, he looks awesome, just ready to go. He's so ready to go. That's pretty rad. Um... Uh... Uh... Oh! Uh, yeah! I'm hoping that these monsters are just for show and don't actually attack you, because that would be incredible. I think they do attack you, but I'm going fast enough where it's not really an issue. <laughs> like you just drop here. Uh, well, apparently I have to. Ugh. Ooh, that was close. I would have been really embarrassed. <laughs> Boy, my face has been red. Um, wait, isn't this the boss chambers? This is the boss chambers. Look, there's no the keys. big keys. Uh, yeah, oh, I have to climb, don't I? Oh, all right. Oh, oh man. Yeah, blue gem. Remember the blue gem is yep. there. Oh, and, oh uh, hey guys, Lizzle Foss. What's up, my friends? I'm not, I'm not sure. Lizzle Foss are the ones with the the dinosaurs were dinosaurs and like they're like um they have like daggers and stuff. But these guys are like flying guys. I'm not sure Ouch. what they are. Can I just hook shot them when they're on the ground? Nope. <laughs> you just go over to them. We keep saying hook shot, but it is it's it very is clearly the claw shot. Claw shot. Stop! Whoa! That's slick. Oh, that's another thing I didn't know about uh, Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, Link's that passive Link's block. Link's passive block, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, that shield? Yeah. yeah. It, it you knew about that? It, you knew about that? Yeah. Yeah. It blocks Samus' full charge. It blocks anything that doesn't explode. 
I've utilized no way. I've, yeah, I've super used good. it to my advantage many times. Oh yeah. That's ridiculous. I didn't know about that. Well, if you're facing the wrong way, it doesn't work. Yeah, and if you're moving at all, you have to be standing still. That's so weird. It's good, man. Well, it's a high well, lane shield. It, it makes sense. I mean, the character model has a shield, so... It does. I just, I just didn't know you could do that. It's, it's cool. Uh, get, uh... Get him down here. Come on, go. Flash on. He has to... He has to pull the shield at first. See? Oh, I see. I say... You think he just wouldn't do that stance anymore? Yeah. Once he saw me kill his friend, well, and then do the same strategy on him. Well, I mean, no. Imagine like you're like, um, I don't know, you're like a black belt or whatever, right? Or like you're not a black belt, but you're, like, you're a guy who knows how to fight, you know, like Jeet Kune Do or whatever, right? Jeet Kune Do. That's it? probably a martial art. That's probably somewhere. I think it is. Um, and then suddenly you got beat up, and the guy, and he just he just outsmarts you, right? And you're like, okay, well. I can either flail my arms around wildly, or I can try to beat him using my, my what I know I know how to fight, like the way I know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm so, picking up what you're putting down. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So then, it's understandable why he would be fighting with that stance because it's the only way he learned how to fight. But flailing your arms and I mean, is there? A, yeah, but There's not well, one person that learns just, like, one set of moves, and they're like, yeah, like that's the mar- only thing you'll ever need. No, no but it's, it's how you win fights, though. No, no, but any martial art that we, if not, um, like, much one thing with, I know when they do it with fencing, I think it's the same for martial arts, where, though they'll teach you all the individual moves and stuff, what they'll also teach you is actually just uh, set sequences of moves. Right. Because it's easy, I think, because it's easier... To fight, um, mm. it's easy to fight if you just can have these series of moves to, um, memorized. Mm-hmm. That would work. But you know, if something didn't work out, then you'd have another like sequence of moves you can use. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, have you ever, have you ever seen like that um, GIF of? Oh, nice. What you know, actually. I think apparently if um, see any true true masters of a martial art or whatever fighting, yeah. it'll let you. It wouldn't be like very stylized or fluid. It'd be look very messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they would be so skilled. They'd be skilled enough that they could recognize the sequence that the other person is doing. Yeah. Then know how to break that sequence. Then they try and do their own sequence, and then that would get broken. Yeah. You know. So exactly. it just it wouldn't look. Smooth, look kind of uh, scrappy. Yeah. Next time we're gonna fight the boss. Boss time. Boss time. Next time. Don't remember what the boss is. It's probably the dragon. Argrock. Probably. Yeah.